while a Russian antitrust group fined Google so it can preload apps on Android devices, you might have missed touchpads of the future and the underwater insect glue. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where eating bugs as a future protein source is about to be not only disgusting, but it'll make you feel bad. You, I don't even have to, when you start looking at the clips, you will be, I had to like, my mouth got all. Researchers at the University of California, Berkeley discovered that the lowly caddis fly can spin incredibly strong, stretchy silk that functions as a biological sticky tape. Meaning Spider-Man was dressed all wrong. More importantly, this silk can do something no man-made adhesives can, form underwater. While the caddis fly uses this tape to construct stony armor like a little rocky Iron Man, it does this by binding together pebbles with a special silk that looks and acts a lot like double-sided waterproof tape. Researchers think that it can be leveraged into a bunch of medical applications, like setting fractures without using pins and plates. Kudos, little guy. Soft, pliable touch pads have been around for a while and they've all had the same basic design flaw. The conductive metals that they use for power and data transfers don't actually stretch. However, researchers in South Korea developed a new kind of touch pad that trades in wires for electrically conductive hydrogel. The researchers doped the hydrogel with lithium salts to make it conductive, then put electrodes at either end of the gel panel. Touching the panel with your finger closes the circuit, allowing the user to tap and click like a mouse or write like a standard touch screen, even when the panel is stretched to more than a thousand percent of its normal state. Remember how pumped you were when you got me for the holidays? You tried to pull my arms off? And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Another Tesla car crashed with the owner blaming the driver assist technology for not seeing a stopped car on the side of the road. Facebook found a workaround to desktop ad blockers. Apple's iPhone 7 will reportedly debut on September 7th. Snapchat was slammed for offering an Asian face filter. Google is testing wireless fiber broadband. Futurama finally got its own quote search engine. And the DEA is allowing more organizations organizations to grow and distribute marijuana as long as it's for research. Speaking of greener pastures, our editor Benito is leaving us. Bye. Hope you like the 80s jokes.